hear how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Are you kidding me? Not Another again. Naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hope. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Um... What is going on, my friends? Ken the Gamer 04, and welcome back to LA Nor. Uh, I was supposed to continue the Golden Butterfly from last episode because I failed that part, and it threw me right into the silk, the the silk socking murderer. I think that's what it was. So yeah, that's this is what's going on now. We are doing a new case now, which is kind of odd, but it is what it is. You have the address? It's the alley off the lease of between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. City Central Unit, car 16 L reports a possible jump for the and hope. The Methodist Church units are handle code to identify. So I do have to censor some parts, which is great and all. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh boy. Ah, uh, there she is. Good lord. And let oh, the censoring commence. Sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. What do you mean when you're ready? What's. Kiss the blood, BD. Okay. Uh, strangulation? Lacerations on the neck. Would indicate a great deal of force. Wait, was that blood spurting? Wait. Oh my god. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Um, I, I don't know. Did he want us to find it? I have to inspect this arm. Ah, uh, jewelry was ripped off again. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Is that a bone? Oh my god, that's a bone. Oh my god, that's a bone. Uh... The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copy to. Strangle, batter, naked. Yeah, 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 we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. S 
so now what bro y'all got my way before i s come on come on Wait, come on, it gave me a... It gave me that sound. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there it is. All right. May as well follow the trail. Yeah, it looks like to be leading into somewhere. Looks like right there. Is this a hat or something? Is a library card. Okay. No, but why? Why the blood on? Is this all blood? No way. No way, that's all blood. What the hell is that? If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Ew, bloody stocking. You catch all the good ones, folks. Okay, so this has nothing. I don't think that has anything to do with it either. No. Well, you know what? Maybe it maybe it does. I don't know. I it didn't like No, okay. All right, I just have to make sure I see something that looks out of place over here. Mm. Eh, nothing much. Oh, I forgot hockey's on right now. I should probably be watching it. But what's this? Is it a cup? Okay. Yeah. Nothing of interest. Well, I mean, we can most certainly follow the blood trail. We can most certainly follow the trail. It looks to have continued through here. Maybe over here. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Uh. What, this area? It, he's just smoking. That's nice. Eh. That's just for mosquitoes, though. But why in this corner? House keys strung up like bait on a hook. I was noticing the blood. Think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Wait. Where's the trash? There's trash cans over here, right? Yeah, there's trash cans over here. You ought to think that someone would throw something in the trash like this? really a lead someone had to have thrown something in the trash right but the blood 
the blood kind of continues over here though right yeah blood continues over here there's something shining right here Is this the other half of the card? That's got to be a code or a cipher. It looks like to be some code. But what though? I don't know. So what the blood What do you what? Where are you taking us? Uh, really do I oh, okay. All right, well, looks like we're going up. This man's weird. How do you hear pigeons? Go, go, get out. What? By hand. Personal effects. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Oh, that's a good clue. He clearly wants us to find these things. He left them for us. There you go, Phelps. We got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. But... Now, is there anything around here that could make us suspicious? Yeah, there is. Oh, those are just... Like, that's gonna help. Yeah. Okay. That ain't gonna help. Alright, let's just continue. Just saying my partner went somewhere. What? Oh, what's this? Makeup? Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. How are we supposed to know, like... <sighs> you know, how are we supposed to know, like, where this all leads us to? I mean, okay. Before you yell at me, obviously we follow the trail. And trail points up. But, like... Do we have any people to talk to? This just goes further up and up and up. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Yeah, really, what is the significance? And this goes up. Paintbrush? But why? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Yeah, but what's is that there's a purse or something in that corner here. Yeah. And there's some stuff in there too. And there whoa. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Okay, but my question... Okay, so the killer must have put all this up here. But why? I mean, did we do, did we do the investigations? Did we do everything we could? Kinda hope so. Cause, buddy, you're driving. Can you drive to this one? I need to go over case notes. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. No. Uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. 
But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Oh. My <laughs> God. He did it again. It's probably his fault. That is a, uh... That is a beautiful sunset. There is an animal of some sort running on the golf course, so that's nice. Oh. For vacancies. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's one of those. The voice is gonna get so annoying. I'm sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. Maldonado. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm yes, so, ma'am. Ma Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. To the parlor? Walk your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs. Five. Last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Wait. How do you get upstairs? Oh, okay, I threw there. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, last one on the left. Uh, five! Yeah! Oh. You look at that? Someone's turned the place over. It, what? A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. There's an iron picket there, too. Can we, can we? You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Yes. Shut up, Bukowski. Whatever your dumb so name someone is. Someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. Yeah. I honestly wonder. What's this? It looks like we have a letter. Mrs. Maldonado. Maldonado. Can't say that last name right. What is this? Okay. Okay. Petition Superior Court has been accepted. Okay, we have an address. Husband, serve with the official. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this like a... Influencer, <sighs> likely. Hmm. Interesting. I find that to be very, very interesting. I was gonna say, what are you pointing me at? The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. No, it wasn't. You're right, but that ring? Ring had to have been. Right? I mean... Do you think there's something outside that can maybe point us to something? Maybe there is. Whose car is this? Yeah, make sure and look. Just to make sure. So, it looks like this gives us nothing. Okay, can we talk to the elderly lady now? Oh, we gotta go up and in through the window again? Oh, you know what? That's fine. 
Alright, I am ready to talk with the dead lady. I have a few questions for her. No, ma'am. Let's let's have a seat. You have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, how did how did Bukowski, Bata, 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 I'll do my best. How the hell do you say his name? Um, possible. Oh, 62? Really? Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Shut Are you the hell a up. Flippant, young man? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'll give her the truth. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. Oh, good lord. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. Okay. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. Okay, movements of the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Okay. What do I... Truth or... I don't know. See, this is where... This is where I... I'm gonna say doubt. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? Oh, oh God. I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. Damn. Does bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple North of blocks Angeles we found Street. The body. There's a is there, there there's a fox or something running around on the golf course right now. You've had a break in? Evidence of the break in. No. That can't be true. Ma'am. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Um, where is it? The broken window. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Ma'am, you're not protecting a reputation. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. No, it's not. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. You do too. The charm. Right there. In her wedding photo, she's displaying right a charm there. bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Oh, boy. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the El Dorado bar. Um. Well, we could. You know what? Let's go to the bar. I feel like we should go to the bar. And you can drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I don't care about him. He can drive. A nosy old hag? <laughs> exactly. And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex wife line. Oh my Sometimes god. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. Uh, to a certain extent, yes, but don't be calling people an old hag. That's not. No. Made of... I might have made fun of her voice in the beginning, yeah. But you know what? She's not an old hag. Why? I don't get it. L.A. Nor. L.A. Nor, I tell you. Well. What can I get you? L.A.P.D. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. 
Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? <laughs> was she a regular? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. Oh, my God. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. I can say, please show me. Sam is taking me to Palm Springs for the weekend. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? No, you may not. Oh my god. Divorce papers? Did you Ooh. open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Witness on our in the year of our Lord one thousand nine hundred and forty seven. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Interesting turn of events. Um, so Diego, what about the missing Can you jewelry? Remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Um, give you the doubt. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. Okay. She seemed reluctant. Okay, what about the movements of the victim? Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Give me the truth on this one. Did she attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. Okay. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Okay. So now what? Do we... I guess we can go to the residence. So, uh... How's your tuna fish salad? Wait, something's not something's not adding up here. Maldonado. Okay. No, no. How do I have to? You can drive. There we go. We're gonna make him drive. Hope to God he doesn't get hit by a car. Beep beep. How about we drop in on a husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Well, that's because you're a lazy... effed up. Can I swear now? Oh, I could. I could swear if I really wanted to. You're a lazy effed up person. I'm way ahead of that three minute... or four minute thing. Is it three minutes or is it four minutes? I can't tell. I, I don't even know. I've heard it's like one of those two, though. Okay, so she lives in... Five? Two, 304. Aldonado is in apartment 304. Okay, very good. You're going too fast for the thing. I was going to say, stop. How are we... Oh, staff. How are we so... What? Elevator? Y'all got stairs here? God help me. How are we supposed to figure out... This is 201. Okay, so we gotta go up more then. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. 
Whoa. Oh, here we go. Why are we fighting all of a sudden? This dude's not even done yet. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Oh. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Finbar? Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. The wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I killed my own wife? Um, yeah, because you both fought us for no reason. You get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. Canvas the neighbors, huh? And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Finbar? What are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do? Punch me through the screen? gonna be one expensive replacement of my new brand new uh screen there buddy i mean come on i'm thinking about adding a third monitor to this whole thing just picked fruit market i wonder if angel gets all his groceries from this place come on who wouldn't want a third monitor you know, I have two here. Uh, two now. Can easily have a third one. Just bam, right, right next to me. El Dorado. Oh boy, look at that. The oh. El Dorado must be a family favorite. Yeah, it sure looks like to be a family favorite, wouldn't you say? But what's this? This will take some explaining. Exactly. And what's this? Okay, I can't manipulate it more. Hmm. Let's go say maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's cold. So then who do we go knocking on then? My question is if he why why were those two fighting and i guess we have to go canvas the neighbors so who do we got can we do 305 mm, pretty sure we could what was that what do you want lapd oh, what we're do you making want some inquiries. make it quick i worked nights so you weren't home last night no i was at work you know nothing about mrs maldonado fighting with her husband those two they're always screaming the place down Thanks. Oh. <laughs> okay. You're very brazen. What about you? No good. There's nobody here. Okay, what about this guy? Hey, sorry about that. I I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD. Were you here last night? Yeah, my uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. What the f... What the hell was that? I literally almost said the F word. Someone's coming to the door. Hello. LAPD, Hi. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. 
Yes, I did. And where was that? Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. Mm. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. Aranda. I had the door open crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Felt. Ooh. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> oh my god, he's going to, like, come just punch me in the face. <clears throat> Alright, so now what? Do we... Are, are we done with this? Can we... Do we go back... Do we go to the just picked up fruit? I don't know. I mean, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Is there a... Well, we could go back up and use the phone. I think there's a phone down here, though. I want to see... Yeah, there's a phone right here. Can I use the phone? And, like, see... Okay, there's no... I guess there's no updates. We're kind of in on a interesting odd case here. Um, you're behind the wheel. Yeah, he didn't hear that from the fire. Go ahead, Car Eleven King. Um. Car Eleven K, Car Eleven King, come in. Um, go go ahead, Car Eleven King. Car Eleven K, Car Eleven King, come in. KGPL, Eleven King, over. Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11K en route. Well, I guess we're going to Central then. I thought that music was Fade to Black. Like the be very beginning of Fade to Black. Before it goes into the uh, guitars and uh, stuff. Um, so are we going? I don't think we're going to the fruit place. Yeah, we're going to Central. That's fine, though. I actually wanted that. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Anchor. Um, and where, where's, where's downstairs? He didn't... He didn't grab his hat. Put him down with my staff. Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know, you've got it made if you can get to that desk. Amen to that, brother. Advice? If the brass are handling Dahlia Evans, they'll have it locked up in the tech service event. Let's go. Why are we downstairs, though? Oh, technical Boy. services is here. Come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. A new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Have you changed my mind? You would not give a square deal. F U B D Tex. What's what's B D Tex? And what's this guy? Oh boy. Heap upon. Oh, I'm not reading all this. Oh god. Of course he's gonna read it. That's why we called you in. Mm. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. Yeah. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like. Put your Shelley. hat. Put your hat was back on, Baldy. One hundred years ago. Shelly. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan. A superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. 
What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Um, okay. So now we have to go back upstairs and interview this guy. You think talk is cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. That's that cop. Seems like a yes, guy. that is me. Door knocking all morning, but I gotta make in the car in the end. Now, who's Brooke, this idiot? Attitude? Oh, Angel? Angel? Okay. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. You lying son of a bitch. What's the last contact with the victim? So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Hmm. I must say they'll give a lie here. You're right, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. What about the husband's alibi? We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad. But it's not true. We argued, all right. But she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford coupe. Divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You lying son of a... I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice eye. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. Yes. I, told you, I wouldn't accept a divorce. What about the divorce paper? Divorce papers. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. She came in drunk, out of her mind. Okay. She doesn't normally drink. Okay. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. But she why? ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. I'm gonna give him the truth on this what one. about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never <laughs> yes, wore it. I do know she about that. The message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. How come we didn't even see it then? What about the bloodstained shirt? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Uh-uh. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito. Hippolito? He said some bad things about Antonio what last night. What the hell type of name so is that? One. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. Interesting. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Yeah, really. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my Okay. So now we go to Now we go to the just picked fruit market. But why why there's something at that bar that I believe we're missing. There has to be something at that bar that we're missing. 
You know the way. You can drive. There's something at that bar. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. It's from him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking case just gnaws away at your guts. Doesn't it ever? Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. <laughs> Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. Oh my dear lord. Hmm. So, now what? I mean... Now what? The, why, why are we going to the fruit market? Just picked fruit market. That's, that's a dumb name, I'm sorry. That's such a dumb name. But why are we here? Do, do, like... You. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. What handbag? Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Where? No, he's going over there. Are you working Friday night? We could go out afterwards. Where are you going? Are you just browsing? LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Hatless Galloway. Phelps. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was murdered. Uh, distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Why, exactly though? Exactly how Why? much fruit do you sell here after midnight? Clem? Uh, look. Look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Okay, contact with the, the victim. young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Interesting. You Bye. already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Seemed like a, seemed like a nice, nice lady. lady. Her husband went ape shit one day when he caught me talking to her. Oh, really? She had me back until last night. Okay, what about the movements Where did of the she victim? go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Okay, I'll give you the truth. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Interesting. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Oh man. So now now what? Where what, what now what? Like I How am I supposed to know what's going on around here and what isn't? That's just a banana peel. Okay, but like, when he says look around, what do you mean look around? Is there something that I'm not noticing? There might be. He seems to be in this area, though. Is there something over here that I might have missed? Potentially? I mean, it just seems so weird that, like, we're looking around, and it's I got a like. Do, do we go back here? What the hell is all this? 
Oh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. So really, I was supposed to go back here. And this looks like the same stuff as earlier. Okay, but why? But what? What is that? Oh, shucky ducky quack quack. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is oh, dead, baby. the grief usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. Mm-mm-mm. Interesting. Now, what's this? This probably doesn't have any significance, wouldn't you say? Now... Why, why, why do we have to go apprehend this guy? So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Oh my God. Wait, no. Is it, wait, 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 wait. I am so not going to remember that. Two, five, three. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Two. Five. Three. Wait, where's three? Three. Oh my god. No friggin' way. Wives, submit to your husbands and is the Lord. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Uh, we got that too. And what's this? Hmm. Interesting. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Uh making me do the driving. God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. I'm trying to do that. Oh, there no, goes a pedestrian. Get me closer. I'm tr dude. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Cole. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Watch out! Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe what an idiot. Cops. A lot of them do. He's the still straight guy's getting away, Phelps. No, 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 he's not getting away. He's not getting away. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Okay, go, go, go. You mother. But why? You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. So what, did we just complete the case, or, like, what? Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. 
The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee in the personal visit myself. Wait, he was the murderer? What? When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. Grand jury. jury. I have a meeting this afternoon. Wow. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Given the size of Clem's stash, it was a wonder you didn't catch him red-handed at the El Dura- No. Bro. Bro. <sighs> wow. Okay. That's crazy. That is so crazy. All right, that'll do it for this episode, my friends. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys all Friday for From the Fog. Goodbye.